Good morning, I am excited for today's video. I woke up this morning just inspired. Last night I actually came across a couple of TikTok pages that really focused on a lot of thrifting and vintage pieces and it really got me motivated today to like go to some thrift stores, go to a couple antique shops. I wanna find things for my apartment. Now that the full space is done, there's just like little tweaks that I've been living with for like a year now, you know? Like I did the living room like eight months ago but there's small things that I wanna change about it now. So I thought today I would bring you guys along with me and we can go thrifting, vintage, shopping so if you want to join me on this journey let's go ahead I'm pumping gas right now so we have a long day of driving around I want to go to a lot of different stores just check out a ton of really cute decor vintage pieces antique finds whatever it might be if that's what we're doing today let's go ahead and head to our first stop which I think is gonna be the st. Vincent de Paul thrift store in downtown LA but let's head out at the first thrift store and I already found something that I love. I really like the shape of this lamp here. I think the bulbousness of it is really unique and I also like the texture. However, the price is $35. Honestly, this one's kind of interesting too. Somehow I am hitting the jackpot with lamps. Well, not the jackpot because they're expensive. Like this is 45 bucks. But this, if you needed a big table lamp, this is huge. Like, look at the size of my hand in comparison to the base. And then Marie found this one. So cute, too. This one's 44, but you could honestly leave this one as is. Like, it has a really nice kind of crackle finish. Not too bad, but not exactly what I'm looking for. How cute are these blue chairs, you guys? They're $69 each. They look really like vintage mid-century vibes, which is kind of fun. Black cabinet. Kind of a vibe. Those are interesting. Are they like mercury glass? Whoa, you guys, I've never seen anything like that. I found this vintage, or I don't know if it's vintage, I can't say that, but it's like an antique looking bronze vase, but it's actually like a really nice shape and it's pretty substantial. It's $10, which is, I feel like a little bit expensive. I think this would be pretty with some flowers in it. This corner of the thrift store is, it's giving me everything. This dresser is cute. This couch is kind of cute. The mirror back there, like that's kind of cute. I have my vase with me. Very, very dirty as you can see, but love it, honestly. The dresser is 69 bucks. That is a pretty good deal for this. If I had a space for this, you guys, I would a thousand percent pick this up. It's really cute and I love the woven detail on just like the tops. It has these like bamboo style handles as well. so cute. I like how it's like perfectly worn hmm. and it's only eight dollars which I mean isn't too bad. It's not like the most sturdy but I feel like I could fix that. Look at this armoire storage situation. Imagine this refinish like how cute this would be. I'm getting the chair you guys. I have to. It's gonna go in the living room somewhere. These are my first finds at thrift shop number one and I'm actually really excited. It looks like I spent like 18 dollars. The vase was more than the chair. All right, you guys, I had to take off my outer shirt because it is so hot. I swear it's like 95 degrees, but I found some cute things at that thrift store. You can kind of see the chair. It's in my car right about here. I'm really excited about that. I've been wanting a chair with like some unique turned legs. I really like the shape of that one too. And for $8, I couldn't pass it up. And I got the little vase as well. Now I'm gonna head to another thrift store. This is probably my favorite Los Angeles thrift store. It's called Out of the Closet, but they always have a great selection of clothing and furniture. So we're gonna head to Out of the Closet and see if we could find um, um, any other pieces. Check out this really pretty marble lamp. It has such a soft marbling in it, but I actually love that. Um, but I don't need any lamps at the moment, so I'm gonna pass this one up. I've been looking around the thrift store for a couple of minutes. There isn't too much I found um, to purchase, but I do want to get this chair. It is crazy to me that I was looking at chairs like this online last night for thousands of dollars and this has a very similar look. Now, I don't know if this is vintage, I don't know if it's designer, I don't know at all where the origin of this chair is from, but it really has a similar shape to what I'm kind of wanting and I also love that it's black and it's only $75, which you think is so much better than $75,000. So, we're gonna grab the chair, I'm gonna try to get it in the car. Pray for me, you guys, cross your fingers. Okay guys, I got the chair running through Los Angeles. Good thing you're strong and work out. Oh, there's a pole. Oh. What do I do? 
I have the wood chair here. I have the toga looking like chair back there. I am sweating so much. We're gonna head to a vintage store next. I've never in my life been to a vintage store. Um, I think they have a lot of mid-century pieces, vintage furniture. It's gonna be way more expensive than a thrift store or even an antique shop. Um, but I just wanna check things out. I've never been before. I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and we could see what cute vintage furniture they have. We just made it to this place called The Hunt, which is vintage home furnishings. And sadly, it looks like it's closed, but it says online it's supposed to be open till four. Like, hello, we want our furnishings, let us in. I guess this is a no-go, sadly. Um, so we're gonna head to some more places. Just left that Motley vintage furniture shop. Love everything there, super cute, but I mean, I'm not exactly looking for any specific pieces, so if I am in the future looking for specific vintage pieces, like a sofa or anything of the nature, I'm definitely gonna check that place out, but I didn't have any needs for anything, so I was just kind of browsing around. Now, I'm not too sure where I'm going to head to next, so I'll just keep you guys updated when I do head there, and we can continue our journey. I made it to the last location of the day, which is Helping Hand Thrift Store. They already have this very Parisian style furniture outside, which I am loving. That would be so fun to upcycle. So this seems like it's gonna be a good place to head into. Guys, look how pretty this frame is. It's $275 though, so not that pretty. They also have really stunning gold filigree frames up here. That chunky one on the left. I even like the artwork in the one in the back there. Not having the most luck in this store, um, everything's super expensive, and the Yelp review said it was cheap, so I'm kind of bemused who was shopping here. I think I'm gonna resume tomorrow, though, because I have been thrifting for like four or five hours now, um, and I kind of just want to get a fresh start tomorrow, so I'll catch you guys in the morning. It is Saturday, the next day. I actually just got a COVID test right across the street. Conveniently, I was at this little drive through Walgreens and basically I'm going to Hawaii on Tuesday, which I haven't even talked about. It is crazy that I'm traveling. I was like, let me treat my family and my parents and brothers and everyone to a, a big trip because like we have not gone anywhere in so long. And so we're going to Kauai for seven days on the 12th to the 20th, which is gonna be super, super exciting. This video actually should be going up over the time that I am there. But I looked out my window. There's a Goodwill right here, a huge, humongous goodwill so i was like why don't we start today's thrifting adventures there yesterday i was able to find that really cool chair i was able to find a fun vase i found a couple items but today i really want to go ahead and get some more decor pieces i am actually filming my full apartment tour tomorrow i thought i would pick up some pieces today that maybe i can incorporate and restyle throughout the space but we are looking for thrifted goods of course today so i'm gonna go into this goodwill let's see what we could find you guys and it should be a fun day of thrifting Walking right in, I see a brass frame. You could never find these in LA, you guys. Everyone in Los Angeles just knows that these are cute and they understand the vibe. So you never find these things. $3.99, I think absolutely yes. The decor here looks super sparse, but I'm gonna keep looking around. I'll let you guys know if I see anything else that's cute. Why does this children's toy intrigue me? Like, I'm confused. Stacking natural rings, but I want this as a decor piece. This blue crock is really pretty for the kitchen. These are kind of cute too, honestly. I'm finding a bunch of random pieces that are really unique. Like this bowl to me is so fun. It's $5.99, but look at the detail on it. It's like a ceramic bowl. I also found a yellow crock similar to the other one. And there's some other really cute pieces like this little baking situation. I also found this really pretty pink glass bowl. I think the color is so pretty and it's in perfect condition. I just really don't have anywhere for it. Um, hello? Guys, this is pretty too. It's like a crackled glass bowl with a brass base to it. I don't think it's my style really, but it's kind of cute. A guy in the thrift store saw that I was carrying that little frame I was just showing with you and he said that he had a frame in his car that was very similar and he wanted to give it to me. This guy inside gave me this frame. I mean, it's not the same. It's not the brass filigree frame I had, but I mean, it is a cute frame and he gave it to me. He's like, you know, I have one of those in my car. I just took the painting out of it. If you want it, I can go get it for you. And I was a little scared at first. I thought he was gonna like maybe steal me. Um, but I mean, he brought it inside the store and gave it to me and it's cute. Heading to the next location, which is another Goodwill, actually. It's the one by my old apartment. I love this area. It's so cute. It's like a little neighborhood. We're gonna pop in and see if we can find some stuff. Um, I'm just popping around to a couple different thrift stores today. There's no rhyme or reason. Mm -hmm. 
I ran into Danielle and she on at the Hi. thrift store. Um, we were talking about, yeah. you were talking about the bathroom makeover. Yes. Is it weird that I like this basket? It's like a blue woven basket. I've never seen a colored basket I've liked before, but the color is really unsaturated. So I quite like it and it looks a little distressed, which I also like. This is a perfect chair for me, for my living room. Kind of into this magazine holder. I like the turned wood. I like the black. This is something I would have sprayed black originally, but I don't need a magazine holder. It's pretty cute though. They also have a ton of lamps today, you guys. This one's cute. It's a little glass ball. Looks like the only thing I found here is this little candle holder. Um, I think it's cute. It's actually from Pottery Barn. It's $5. And I have a pillar candle that has no holder. So this is perfect. <music> The last thrift store shop of the day, we met another Lone Fox family member, Jessica. Just came across this nice little pot. It might be a crock as well, but I thought this was a piece that could totally be painted over the top of and turned into something new. I like the shape. And I also found this really cute little glass piece, which is almost like an ashtray, but I love the color of it and I think it's really mod, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up too. This rug here honestly looks gorgeous. Look at this, huge rock stone planter. It's $20. I mean, it's a substantially heavy piece. Not sure where I'd put it, but it's really cool. last stop of the day and it was successful I feel like I was able to get some decor pieces today I got a couple of frames um, I also got a couple pieces I didn't share with you guys because I want to share them with you in the haul portion of this video so I'm gonna head home film everything I got share with you how I'm gonna style it in my apartment and just all of that fun stuff but I met so many of you which is crazy I love when I meet you guys so if you ever see me out in public always feel free to say hi but besides the point I'm gonna head home um, gather all my thrift finds and I'm gonna share them with you guys <laughs> It is haul time, you guys, which is probably my favorite part of the video, just because I get to share with you all of my incredible finds that I found over the past couple of days while I was out thrifting. Now, a lot of these pieces I actually had to pull from my apartment because I styled them already in my apartment for the apartment tour video, which is being filmed today, which I'm very excited about, but I wanted to go ahead and quickly just share with you guys what I picked up at the thrift store. So the first two items I can't really hold up and share with you guys because they are larger. As you guys probably saw, I got two really incredible chairs. The first one I got actually picked up at the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store which was that wooden chair that kind of had the turned legs to it it had the rounded back and kind of like the spindle back as well so all around I just loved the way that this chair looked and for eight dollars I really couldn't pass it up and just the overall look of the piece really gave an antique touch and I thought it would look really nice styled in this specific spot in my apartment it really reminded me of a piece that Amber Interiors would have incorporated in a design um, that she would have done and I love her work so much so I wanted to go ahead and kind of emulate that look and then I also picked up a chair that is definitely a hit or miss. I feel like in some people's books, this one has a very, very vintage kind of retro touch to it, but I love the slouchiness of it. I feel like this chair screams extremely comfortable, casual lounge vibes, but it also screams like elevated, luxury, vintage, chic. I don't even know. There's like this fun little juxtaposition between those two, which I love when it comes to this piece. And I think overall the oversized nature of this piece really makes the chair a little bit more quirky. And then also the pleated fabric and just like the leather itself really adds a nice sheen to the piece. So I'm gonna kind of see how I could style this piece in my apartment. I don't have a specific plan yet, but I think I can come up with something really cute. I then was at a couple of Goodwills and I found some frames. So the first Goodwill I went to, I actually found two frames here. I found these two, which I actually realized are literally the same exact frame, but one of them has this kind of canvas mat on the inside and the other one doesn't, which I love that because this one, of course, will hold a larger photo and I like it as is. And this one will hold a smaller picture, but it has a little bit more detail and interest to it. So I personally think that finding both of these was a win for sure. They were $3.99 a piece, which I feel like is really great for these kinds of frames. Now this one here does need a little bit of touching up, so I can go through with some rub and buff and touch that one up, but this one looks pretty good in condition. And then when I was in the thrift store, a man came up to me and uh, he saw me holding this frame and was like, hey, I have one of those in my car if you want it. And at first I was kind of sketched out. I was like, wait, I don't want to go with you to your car. Like, I'm kind of scared. He was like, follow me to my car. But he literally walked me out to his car and I figured there was a ton 
ton of people outside, nothing's gonna happen, you know? And he handed me this, which is so cute as well. He essentially told me that he purchased the artwork inside of it and he reframed it, but he didn't need the original frame anymore. And this holds an eight by 10. It's like a really great wooden frame and it has kind of this like dirtier canvas. It's like stained, but I kind of like that about it to be quite honest. And this one was 100% free. And then a couple other pieces I found at Goodwill. This first one here was $6 and I just love this. I feel like it's such a unique piece. First of all, it's made of plastic, which I didn't realize at first. I thought it was like a ceramic because it has this really unique kind of crackle glaze on it. But all around, I feel like this piece just screams to me like retro. I don't even know. I like the high gloss sheen of it. I like that it's plastic. I think it adds like a fun element in terms of like material. And I really like the pattern on it. I feel like this could be really cool on a coffee table with maybe like some potpourri in it or even like turned into a really funky pendant light. And the last place I went to was the LA Road thrift store, which is actually one of my favorite thrift shops. Now their outdoor section was closed for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I was able to find three pieces that I actually really, really love. The largest one was actually this kind of pot here or crock. I'm not too sure. I want to actually put this in my kitchen because I feel like this is such a cute little kitchen vessel to hold like some wooden spoons and just like your traditional kind of cooking utensils, you know, this was $9, which is not too expensive, but it's also not really cheap. But this thrift store is not like a Goodwill or a Salvation Army. Me. Um, this is more of like, you know, a mom and pop thrift store. So I do realize the price increase on some of those pieces at shops like that. And then I found this piece, which I am obsessed with this. It is so cute. It's like this fluted glass little container. This was $3.99. And I think the yellowish green color is so cute. I put my Polaroids in there, which is so fun. So I could store them all in there and just have them kind of just organized and cute. And the last piece I got was this really cute little guy. Um, I'm not too sure what to do with this. I just loved the coloring. I thought this rusty orange was the navy was really nice and it almost has this like oil slick finish to it which is really unique so I'm gonna keep this in my stash and maybe style it on a shelf or in a vignette in the future and guys that was everything I picked up thrifting and antique and vintage shopping over these past couple of days it was so much fun and I got to revisit some of my favorite thrift stores I haven't been able to go to in quite a while so that was a huge blast as well I would love to know which piece was your favorite that I picked up so leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know that and if you are not already make sure to subscribe to my channel I post brand new home decor and DIY videos every single week here on Lone Fox And I've also been super active over on TikTok and Instagram lately Which both are Lone Fox Home So you can go ahead and follow me over there at Lone Fox Home as well I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in some of their original placements throughout my apartment And you guys are going to see them in my apartment tour Which is coming super soon to the channel which I'm so excited about So I'll catch you guys in my next one Bye!